Good evening. Welcome to the brand new home of Medfield TV. Today we celebrate the grand opening of our studio. We are so thankful to so many of you who have been with us every step of the way so that this day would finally come. My name is Aditi Tate and I'm the executive director of Medfield TV. Yay! <laughs> Today marks the culmination of an idea that began about nine years ago, an idea about a new and novel studio that would showcase the community shows and would be a welcoming space for the community so that they could do work, participate with the many opportunities that we have in front of the camera and behind the camera. Before I conclude my small welcome speech, I want to thank the people that have led to our success. All the past board of directors, staff, and countless volunteers who laid the foundation to blaze the trail for Medfield TV. The current board of directors, staff, interns, and volunteers who have carried the torch forward with great enthusiasm. Premier Constructions, Joe Nord, Kevin Mello, Adam Perry, architect Jeff Metcalf, interior designer Wesley House, graphic designers Mike Rogan and Seth Robbins for the new logo and branding, integrated solutions Jonathan Lipsy, Gary Pink for um, the state-of-the-art equipment and lighting, Andreas Utah for the equipment design, installation, and kitchen and mudroom installation. Michael Nozel for set design, signs by Cam, Kristin Slashanko, who's the artist who displayed the art outside, and thanks to Jean Mino for uh, connecting me to Kristin. My page is sticking. And uh, the landlord HCG properties. Special thanks to Medfield TV president David Maxson, who was present at all the site meetings and for his big picture vision and attention to details, small and big. Thanks to the town of Medfield, Selectman Richard DeSarga, Pete Peterson, Mark Fisher, town administrator Mike Sullivan. Building Commissioner John Naff, Town Planner Sarah Ruposa, Sign Committee, Medfield School Superintendent Dr. Jeff Marsden, Medfield High School staff. Thanks to Comcast and Verizon for all the years of supporting Community Access Television and all the subscribers and members, and last but not least, the viewers of Medfield TV. We are honored to have Stevie Dobb here today. Yay! with Medfield TV since the beginning about 30 years ago. 1902. <laughs> she drove all the way from New uh, Concord, New Hampshire in this kind of weather. So CB, thank you for coming. We appreciate it. It wouldn't have been the same without you here. We know that Jack Peterson, Ed Doherty, Roger Hardy, and Pete Kenny, our beloved Medfield TV legends, are here in spirit with their blessings this evening. Thanks to Memo, Rock and Roll Rib Joint, and Medfield TV Board of Directors for the flower arrangements. I'm almost done. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate Brothers Marketplace for the complimentary catering this evening, and Rock and Roll Rib Joint for the appetizers, Dunkin' Donuts for coffee. Thank you, thank you Medfield TV Media Committee, Cheryl Dunley, Lucille Fisher, Monica Bushnell, and Rika Athanasiadis <laughs> for tirelessly putting this event together. Thank you all for coming, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to Monica Bushnell, who's going to be saying a few words. She's from the Board of Directors, Medfield TV. Thank you. And truly, just a few words. I think on, on behalf of the Board of Directors, we could not be more excited about this next step for Medfield TV. We feel that this new station and studio really represent everything that, that we want to do to go, to go forward. If you look, we have a brand new sign, which actually reflects a, uh, a new logo, a new font.
byline is community shows, which we really feel means a lot of different things in this community that we really want to continue to be the face of Medfield or to, to reflect back all the extraordinary things that go on here in Medfield and Medfield TV. We really uh, look forward to its next chapter. Uh, we have such a long distinguished a group of volunteers and alums who have come through Medfield TV, who've gone on to do extraordinary things, even after their time here was, was finished. And so we really are just thrilled that you're all here to help us celebrate this new chapter with, uh, with the station. Uh, we actually have two ribbon cutting ceremonies tonight, which we're very happy about. The first one representing uh, the new station and, and everything that you'll see here, as well as when we finish here, to move, we, I ask you to move inside and we will actually cut a second ribbon of the Jack A. Peterson Volunteer Studio itself to dedicate that space, certainly uh, in, in Jack's honor. So I know you're all very eager to get inside and see what this place <laughs> looks like. So I'm very happy to introduce David Maxim, who is the chairman of our board of directors, representing uh, the station, and Mike Sullivan, who is our town administrator, who is here representing the town of Medfield. So we will get out of your way. Speech. <laughs> no, no, no more speeches. I, I do think, though, I just want to call out a couple of people in the crowd here that um, may be new faces to people in the community. I'd like to have Joe and Kevin from Premier Construction raise their hands, please. They helped make this place possible. They, they uh, were very adaptable when we changed our minds about things. They were very adaptable when surprises popped up. And uh, we really appreciate their, their help with this. And I also want to sh give a shout out to Wesley Howes over here, who is uh, solely responsible for the fantastic look of the interior of this place. If you want your home or office to look fantastic, <laughs> call Wesley. Thank you, David. <laughs> <laughs> and now, because we've been dealing with construction, I just have to do this. Safety first. <laughs> where's, the, where's the meat? Where's the, where's the carpenter's apron? <laughs> no apron, sorry. All right. And finally, would you kindly do the honors on the first ribbon? Okay, is the first the lower or the upper? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> speech? I'll give you I'll give you that. Yes, I would like to give a speech. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you should give me the scissors though. Oh, I'll you're right. right. You're right. right. So, um, he talks with his hands. Yes. Okay. Um, I was just thinking on the way down, is uh, local cable social media? I know it's not Twitter, it's not YouTube, it's not all those other things that I, guys my age don't know about, but it is Medfield. And whether it's Route 109 for sports programming, whether it's Eye on Midfield, whether it's um, Aditi's cooking program, where I've learned so much about Indian food, uh, all, all of the shows that, that are teach you so much about what Medfield is, that anyone who lives here and watch cable that doesn't know what Medfield is about uh, hasn't watched enough Medfield cable. It's really wonderful, and not only in terms of the programming, in terms of the opportunity it's given to our young people. Um, as Monica mentioned, so many have gone on to build successful careers from the experience and the exposure they got at Medfield TV. Um, and it's uh, been a, a real asset to the community. So many volunteers have got to meet their neighbors and make friends that never would have, particularly for new people coming into the community. It's a great resource for them to find out what Medfield is all about. So um, I just want to thank you people for the vision that you've had to carry through. I know a lot of people thought you were crazy when you <laughs> talked about moving out of the high school. Why would you want to do that? Uh, but I think um, when you see what's inside, you'll be stunned. 
uh, in, in a very pleasant way. They've done a spectacular job. And I'll shut up now. All right, with that, congratulations. Good job, well done. The scissors. You're going to give me a wipe the brow? Right, right, right. right. <laughs> Drum roll, um, please. Um, da -dum, da -dum. Uh, All right, uh, one, my turn. One snip. Now, I, I have difficulty because. This doesn't require batteries. Uh, okay. So would you hold this? You, you are a techie yeah, at heart. <laughs> I, I think I will hold it, but I think I will stop. <laughs> All right, we're ready. Let the games begin. station. We are, it's much nicer in here than it is outside. So we're, we're happy to have you all here. Um, please notice the beautiful artwork on the wall. Um, Christine Slashenko, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing your name right. Yeah, she's right here. Is right. Fantastic. Is a local artist who I believe, uh, A, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, I believe the Mass College of Art yes. and has uh, worked as a commercial artist, has had a lot of uh, wonderful honors and distinctions. We feel it's a great privilege to have your art on our walls. So we, we feel that it really works beautifully with our, our new yeah, space here. Yeah, especially when, when we hung the paintings, I thought, oh, they look really good. This is great. <laughs> so we are delighted that that, that that was able to come together. So please admire the art over the course of the evening. Um, the space is such that you'll see it better in a minute, but I am standing directly in front of our new Jack A. Peterson Volunteer Studio. The plaque reads, dedicated to all the countless Medfield TV volunteers since 1985. And uh, most of you will probably remember Jack's extraordinary tenure with, with Medfield TV and his unmistakable voice, which really was the voice of Medfield TV for so long. And we felt that it was really highly appropriate to dedicate that in the studio in his honor. Ever so humble, he also felt it was very important that uh, he not be singled out, but in fact that it reflect all the volunteers who have come through Medfield TV over, the, over those years. The flag that is above the plaque was the flag that was in, in honor of his service to our country. Uh, Richard, you may know which which service he was he, in. He actually World War II in Korea. In, in World War II in Korea. So we are very honored to have his service flag here. So I will turn this over to, uh, we felt it was just so great to have CB here, who was such an important part of Medfield TV for so many years, and Richard DeSorger, who really I think we all agree needs no introduction. <laughs> we are delighted that you are both here, and I will hand over these giant scissors for you to cut the ribbons into Jack's studio. And if you have some words, feel free to. Okay. I'll hold this while you're doing that. Thank you. All right. I am pleased to be able to be here and to be part of this because for many years, for probably well, at least 30 years. Um, I was involved as a volunteer and then as an employee. And for probably 17 to 20 of those years, Jack was also involved and a lot of other people. He is not the first of the volunteers to be honored and he won't be the last. Mm -hmm. And I think that what I'd like to say is that there have been a number of them before, and I'm very happy to see that the plaque acknowledges all of that. And I think probably some of the most important things was Jack was just sort of, he was a big man, he had a big voice, but he was a man for, I don't want to say all seasons, I'd say all organizations. There were certain ones that he really loved, he felt very proud of his associate with his 
more association in the Navy. He was a part of the Legion and they became a show on Medfield TV. He was a part of the center. As a senior citizen, he was very proud of that. And that became part of his <laughs> series on TV. And he did <clears throat> state government and he did local government. And regardless of what his politics were, and I'm not sure I know, <laughs> he did them well. <laughs> and he loved to tell stories. Sometimes I'm not sure they were always perfectly correct. <laughs> he may have embellished a little bit, but he was wonderful at that. And I think he was just sort of an icon for the kids that came through here. I want to acknowledge, though, before Jack, and way back at the very beginning, there was one man that I would like to mention, and that was Bob Gibbs. No, and no. Bob did a lot of oh, the yeah. initial setup for the studio over at the school, yeah. and did it quietly, was not a volunteer in front of the camera, but was a volunteer through the schools, did a lot of wiring, and did a lot of mentoring to some of our kids at that point. And Jack then sort of followed those footsteps hmm. and did big things. And it's wonderful that so many of these kids went on to do great things, as was mentioned at the first ribbon cutting. And I'd just like to acknowledge some of them. There was Dan Howe, who went on to be a program director for one of the many companies that we were involved with. I think it was Cablevision, Time Warner, AT&T, uh, Comcast, am I missing anybody? <laughs> and so before we became an independent company to hire our own executive secretary, executive director, we had programs directors who were um, employed by the parent company. And so Dan was one, Mike Sweeney was another, Scott Brooks was another. They were all kids, who, many of whom started sixth grade and on up, and knew as much as some of their professors when they went on to college. I know we have a couple of them here tonight. I'd like to also say thank you to, um, <clears throat> let's see, David Chatterton, who was the most recent, yes, yeah. and Ben Bushnell, all of whom Ben is now in college. David is working professionally. Um, Tom Gilmet, who was premier as the second baseman, for, second base Sox. camera person for the Red Sox. Um, Robbie McNicholas. <laughs> ESPN? <coughs> ESPN. Um, Dan Schneider, who was, I think, with NBC um, in New York. They got their training here, and I am very proud that I was kind of a den mother to all of these kids <laughs> and to Jack. So thank you very much for inviting me, and I will cut my ribbon. Here, here. <laughs> Those are tough acts to follow, but uh, on behalf of the town and, uh, and myself, I just want to congratulate Medfield TV, the board of directors, the employees, all connected with Medfield TV for the outstanding service that you provide the Medfield community. Medfield TV serves the town in so many ways, as was mentioned, from entertainment to civic to cultural to informative to creative to educational to athletical that's a word. <laughs> Medfield TV, as CB uh, very well mentioned, has a long history of working with the middle school and the high school students. Many a student, as she just listed, got their start here at Medfield TV. 
As a selectman, I want to make special note of the communication and civic value of Medfield TV. Unfortunately, in Medfield, what goes on and what our town government does does not always get communicated by any newspaper reporters covering our meetings, nor by any news outlet or paper. No reporters attend the selectmen's meetings or any other town board or committee meetings, which makes it so difficult to keep the Medfield public informed and involved in the happenings of Medfield. It is only through the coverage of Medfield TV that the information gets relayed to the Medfield public. It is only through Medfield TV that speaking on behalf of myself, Mark, and Pete, that we are held accountable for what we say and the decisions we make. I personally got involved with Medfield TV, not as quite as early as CB, but in early years as a young middle school teacher, which was a long time ago, and as part of the new activity period that was then introduced in the then middle school. I started an activity, a show that was called Middle School Jeopardy, where each week three new middle school students took part in the game featuring academic related questions, Medfield sports questions, and general Medfield history and geography questions. Later I took part in a year-long service series on Medfield history conducted by Jack Peterson. Still later on programs on the high school and the China <coughs> connection, as well as programs on Medfield history topics and on the selectmen reports. It is really a great honor for me to take part in the dedication of this studio named after Jack Peterson, not only on behalf of the Medfield Board of Selectmen, but more importantly, as a friend. Jack Peterson exemplified the best there is in a human being. I first met Jack uh, as the voice of Shaw's, sail in IO-9. <laughs> he had that ideal and unmistakable TV voice. He was a professional interviewer who knew not to dominate the interview himself, but to let the person being interviewed be the one who was the main focus. The only sadness on this exciting night of celebration is the fact that Jack is not here to witness this room officially being dedicated. Thankfully, before his death, he was notified and knew of that honor. And as he told me, an honor he was so touched by and so very proud of. So I'm not sure if we will ever see the likes of anyone like Jack in this studio again, but his kindness, his professionalism, his voice, the old clock on the wall, his enthusiasm, his love of Medfield, his love of history, his patriotism, his signature sign-off, his overall class act of a human being will forever live on through his name in this studio. Thank you, Aditi. Thank you, Hong. Thank you, everyone connected with the special dedication of deciding to have that in Jack's name. It is a nice thing that you have done, and it is a fitting tribute and a dedication with a legacy that will live on as long as there is a Medfield TV. So thank you. I don't have a buzz saw. So I'm yeah, right. <laughs> You will look around, explore the spaces behind that glass wall. You'll see there's a control room there. The studio is open. Uh, you can see our new office spaces and editing bays. There's a conference room with the all-important food in there that you can, you can explore. And there are plenty of us around to ask uh, questions if you have any. So thank you all so much for coming, and enjoy the rest of your time here in the studio tonight. Thank you. Thank you.
preceding was a production of Medfield TV.